Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by. I'm Candace. If it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. Today I am planning to kick off my spring 2023 gardening season. My um, plan for this video, I'm going to show you guys what I've planted so far, what's growing, what hasn't grown yet. Um, also, I want to clean up the balcony and I have purchased an outdoor rug that I'm going to put down to kind of act as a buffer between <laughs> my balcony and my neighbors. Um, if you've seen one of my first videos, um, I accidentally watered her cat. <laughs> day so um, I'll link that video so you can check it out and um, I also want to have the rug down so um, to prevent any staining from like some of the pots and the grow bags that I have I noticed there were some rings kind of left on the um, balcony so I want to prevent any more from coming so um, yeah I'm excited to show you guys that also it is mid-April and it is I think gonna be reach a high of 90 degrees today <laughs> so so hopefully I can get this done quickly and um, if I can get that done quickly and I'm not melting I also want to plant up some of my pollinators I have some aster seeds and bee balm that I want to get planted as well I'm a little late on that so um, Hopefully I'll get that done as well. But again, thank you for watching and we'll head out to the balcony and I'll show you what I have planted so far. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I have going on so far. These are my seedlings that I have so far. They were all started indoors. These are um, dollar store, Russian mammoth sunflowers. I grew those last year. These two are Autumn Beauty sunflowers. I'm excited about these because I'm gonna, um, and the other sunflowers as well. I plan to give some to my friend to plant in her backyard in her new house. So that'll be exciting. Then here we have asparagus coming up, which I didn't realize asparagus, um, Takes like a year before you can actually harvest them but lesson learned and then also have more asparagus right here as well then i have some cucumbers right there those are from the baker creek seeds i um have a video about that then here we have some broccoli and then here is cabbage so the ooh, uh oh I don't know about that one. Um, these I started a little bit earlier than everything else. Same with the um, cucumbers here. They were all started a little bit earlier. And then here, let me see if I can move them around. See, the sun is beaming, y'all. Okay, that's better. Then these are all my tomatoes right here. I have homesteads. These are seeds that I saved from last year. So far, nothing's germinated. Hopefully they will. <laughs> and we have um, German pinks. These are from the Baker Creek seeds as well. Then we have Berkeley tie-dye pink, also from the Baker Creek seeds. Then we have my money makers, which I've been growing for a few years now. And then my San Marzano's which are here on these three and then zinnias are sharing the seed starting tray with them the zinnias are pretty all the way up pretty much all have germinated and a few of the san marzanos and then what did i miss okay over here these are from the baker creek seeds it's bullnose pepper plants bell peppers haven't germinated yet over here this green little <laughs> swamp <laughs> that i've going on these were strawberries 
that I planted um, at the same time I planted the asparagus and the cucumbers and only one germinated. So, uh, so far I've not had luck with strawberries. I have some seeds that I put in the freezer probably about a week ago. I'm going to try a cold stratification with those and plant them. I know it's a little late, but I'm hoping I can at least get them started and then maybe get some strawberries next year. Over here, some pollinators. Um, last year I used these pods for, um, I had that packet of free seeds that I had received and um, petunias. So the petunias are in this planter. They, I just planted these maybe two or three days ago. And the same, these are mums, the same mums I had last year. Um, both of these are dollar store seeds as well. So they were just planted a few days ago as well. So I'm a little late on those, but they are planted. So, and then the rest of the balcony, it's just a mess. <laughs> so what I plan to do is kind of move all that stuff out of the way, put the rug down, and um, then get everything back. I have this um, greenhouse that I ended up making like storage. I have peat moss <laughs> soil in there. <laughs> so I want to break this down and then I want to move my um, raised ketter bed over to where you see the sun and figure out what I'm going to plant in it and then so you can see um, the staining I'm kind of talking about on the balcony so hopefully the rug will one cover that up and prevent more from coming oh and then over here forgot these are the Sweet William from Dollar Store seeds that I planted, I think two or three years ago now. The first year they didn't bloom, last year they bloomed, and I just left this out all winter. It wasn't covered or anything, but as you can see, they're pretty cold hardy, so they held up. So, um, hopefully we'll get some pretty blossoms this year. And these shorter ones, these are all new. So I'm not sure if they'll flower this year. Last year, these three were the ones that flowered. So I think these are all um, just ones from seeds that dropped down. Because I did let them go to seed. All right. So that is that. So now I'm going to get things moved around and try to get that rug down. five feet pretty much exactly so the width is good but it I couldn't find a rug that was like um, like probably like five by twelve or something like that is what I would actually need but I think this is good um, I feel like it does make it look more like sitting recreational rather than planting but it's okay um, the way I have it set up now obviously is not how it's gonna be but for now this is good um, I'm happy with it so it is a nice 85 degrees right now so I'm gonna go in 
give me a cold drink. There was a nice breeze, so that helped, but it's hot. <laughs> but thank you for watching. Um, please come back because I'll be um, up potting some of those seedlings that I planted a little bit earlier um, in the season. Those will be up potted. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to plant in the raised bed and figure out how I'm going to fit <laughs> everything else in here as well. So definitely stay tuned for updates. But thanks again for watching. Um, if you have any suggestions for me, please put them in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe thanks bye